how you guys doing it's ace and today i'm going to be showing you guys two cool effects that you guys could add in your fortnite montage to make it stick out to make it look a hundred times better so the things that i'm going to be showing you guys will be this If you guys want a part two to this video, make sure to drop a like and tell me in the comments what effects you guys want to see next. And also, if this video gets 100 likes, I will definitely do a part two. So make sure to get this video to 100 likes. So the first effect that I'm going to be showing you guys is this cool saver effect that you guys could use in your montage. So I already have After Effects loaded up. You guys could do this in Sony Vegas as well. It doesn't matter. It just is just a regular clip and i'm basically just gonna do it towards the end so i'm just gonna find the end right now so i want the effect to start right here um as you can see in the clip the effect is like towards the end of the clip so i want the effect to start right here all you guys need for this effect is basically a plugin called saver you guys could search it up and you guys could basically you know get this plugin it's pretty simple to get it in sony vegas and in after effect so once you guys know what part you guys gonna add the clips in what you guys need to do is basically mask out your character so in after effects just click this pen tool right here and you can zoom in a little bit oh, that's way too much zoom in a little bit and just start uh, masking out your character so this part doesn't have to be like 100 percent perfect you just need like a rough sketch of what your character looks like so you guys could do it really fast <laughs> So as you guys can see, I just masked out my character. What you're gonna need to do now is basically right click, click on mask, I mean hover over mask, and just go down to mode and put it as none so nothing happens to the clip. Once we're done with this, we're basically set. All we need to do from now on is go to your effects panel all the way in the corner, type in saber, and just drag the saber effect onto this. First thing we just wanna do is go right here, customize core, change this from saber to layer mask. Just like this and then what we're gonna do is come down to render settings change these settings to add and this setting to mask glow so right now this is what we have as you see it doesn't look the best first of all what we're gonna do is change what type of thing we want I feel like this arc reactor thing looks the best in my opinion and then what we're gonna do is drop the intensity just a little bit Oh, that's not intensity drop the intensity just a little bit so it'll look just like this and this is basically the effect that you're getting right now as you can see the glow actually moves as your character moves and it gives like a really cool effect you guys could do a lot of things with it like i showed earlier in the video you guys could you know add everything together and just make it look really really cool so the next effect that i'm going to be showing you guys is this really cool like effect impact effect that will basically make your clips look really really cool so what i'm going to do is find where i shot the person right here and i'm basically going to add the clip right there so what we're going to do first is basically set up how we want our clips to look i'm not going to do this perfectly obviously there's no song in this clip and anything i'm just showing you guys uh, how to basically do it so this is our shot right here we're shooting and then we get the kill and then we're falling down and this is where the saber is going to be so what we could do is from right here get our uh, for this you don't need any plugins you could do this in sony vegas and in after effects all we need to do is get the warp effect so just search up uh warp just like this this right here and all we gotta do is add this warp to this and obviously it doesn't look good right now but we're gonna look we're gonna make it look 100 times better. So the first thing you guys need to do is come to warp style and make it into fish eyes. After that, as you see, there's a little bit of effect, but it doesn't look really good. It doesn't flow with the clip. So what we're gonna do is click this right here and we're basically going to animate it. First thing we're gonna do is set this to zero. Click on this button right here, go to effects, go to warp, and now we can see all of our keyframes. So in the beginning, we want our clips to go just like this. So drag the key keyframe that was right here all the way to the beginning and our clip should basically look normal right now once we come to the end we're just gonna uh, click on this marker and just decrease the intensity just like this and then we're gonna have this effect right here 
we're gonna make this effect look a hundred times better because it still doesn't really flow with the montage even though we don't have a song I still could tell that it doesn't flow with the montage so what we need to do is select these two right here and click on F9 on your keyboard if you're in Sony Vegas I don't think you could really do this um, but if you're in After Effects just click F9 on your keyboard and you'll get these just like this and then just click this graph right here right click click on speed graph it should be on speed graph and then we, what we're gonna do is zoom in just a little bit click on this and drag this to the end click on this drag this to the end and then we should have something just like this so now our clip if we go back our clip looks like this you could mess around with the graph however you want depending on how you like it if you want something you know to happen for a longer period of time then we could get something like that but is whatever you guys want i feel like in my opinion going for like a fast motion like this is better so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys want a part two make sure to get this video to 100 likes and also i'm dropping another montage this week so make sure to turn on post notice see you guys next time